Hello everybody, it's that college football guy, another video. I just got done doing the upload on the other one. I got done, um, got my next load. I'm here waiting on them to get to a door here, um, outside, a little bit outside of Chicago. And actually, I'm technically in Chicago. I was just outside before, and I'll be heading back outside of Chicago to pick up the second part of this load. But Sunday night, man... I did the videos and none of this stuff had apparently leaked at the time I was doing the information on this. I should have updated this morning, but uh, in the middle of the night, last night, Jeff Levy showed up and signed the contract, apparently, to become the new head coach of Mississippi State. And Mike Elko touched down last night in College Station and has signed the contract to become the new head coach of Texas A&M. The one that got me is probably there's a pick going around that the athletic director got carried off the tarmac or something or some or not, not, what the what does this mean for both of them? Well, Mississippi State the tragic passing of Mike Leach. You needed an offensive guy at Mississippi State. You need an offensive guy. You're going up for as long as he's there. <laughs> he's had a tendency to uh, take off when Lane Kiffin. Uh, for as long as he's at Ole Miss, you need him offensively to be able to keep up with him. But um, this is, I think, is a good move for Mississippi State. It gives you some offensive firepower. It gives you some. It, it gives you a chance to do some things. Now, how he can fill out his staff? Is he going to poach from Oklahoma? I don't I don't know. I don't know how tight Jeff Levy is. Is he going to be bringing some players with him on the transfer portal? That's a possibility, too. As for Mike Oko, I hated him leaving Duke because Duke had finally started, had found their niche and found their way. But Mike was an A&M guy. And this isn't a... Mike Oko wasn't a Lance Leipold deal. Mike did it as the next step in his career chance to go forward, go through. He has a chance to get a job with generational wealth. Because the a and job is going to pay. And he's going to get paid very well. And I'm sure the contract's going to get leaked out in the next few days. And um, that's going to come down. And that's going to come out. But, you know, it, it, I feel bad for the kids from Duke because they had a coach who was making some things happen and now they got to start all over from, the, from ground one. From ground zero again, um, you know, minute one, start over, day one. You know, why is it saying this is Mike Elko is not Lance Leipold? Lance Leipold, his family said they love it in Lawrence. They love the family atmosphere, how the community has accepted them, how everything, and literally the family says we feel home. Lance has done small jobs. He has never gone to a big place. Kansas is the biggest place he's gone to yet. He was at Buffalo, and now he's here at Kansas. I think, I honestly think he may be a, you know, kind of a, he may want to retire there. I mean, he may want to stick around for as long as he possibly can. I think, because what I've been hearing a lot about Lance Leipold, he's a family man, so he's going to want to stick around. And so for as to, we're getting to about a topic here, but getting to Jack to Levy and Elko. Um... I think it's great moves for both programs. I think but Elko comes in with a defensive mind. You need a defensive mind in the SEC. Offense only doesn't bring championships. And a and I have a lot of Georgia fans laughing and saying, because you know, now they've got the back-to-back -back national titles. You haven't contended for anything since 98. A&M won a championship win um, before World War II. Um, it's been a long time since they've done anything. So, for them, I think it's a step in the right direction. I'm not going to say it's a home run hire, because Jimbo was a home run hire, and that didn't work out. Um, is it a step in the right direction? Right direction. I'll be honest with you, I don't know. He's an A&M guy. He could be, but truthfully, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to do if if he's going to be the home run guy. I mean, if the players seem to have loved him at Duke, 
But A&M is a whole different bunch of attitude, but he was there before. But he wasn't there with NIL, full, full stream, full steam. He wasn't there for that. So, totally a bunch of new cats that are coming in there now. So, it changes things up a little bit. Um, so, Elko is, honestly, is an I don't know. I don't know if this is a home run hire or not. I don't know. They, I think they wanted to have some familiarity. And someone who could bring some grit back to the team. And Elko definitely fit the bill. And took a team with a lot less talent. And made something of him. So they're hoping that he can do the same to A&M. We'll see. Jeff Levy. He's produced points wherever he's gone. So Mississippi State will be a high-powered offensive team. Can they get a defensive mind there who could slam on the brakes? Because that's the key to anything in the SEC. As a Tennessee fan... Tim Banks is not the answer at defensive coordinator because we can't stop anybody. You have to have a defensive mind to win in the SEC. Either as the head coach or as the defensive coordinator. You have to have a real defensive mind. Somebody who knows how to scheme. That's how you succeed. So, Mike's in a, no, Jeff, I think, can be a very good hire for Mississippi State. Um, is anybody going to be Mike Leach? No. Mike Leach was one of a kind. Watch his press conference. You can chance if you ever had a chance to watch any of his old press conferences or sideline interviews, he's always cracking jokes. He's always saying something completely off the wall. He's always was doing that. And that made him the most, perhaps the most entertaining coach in the SEC. His press conferences were practically must see TV. Um and I do miss him. He's, he brought a little life in. You may not have been a Mississippi State fan, and Mike Leach may have drawn you up the wall with some of his decisions, but his you you didn't hate the man by any stretch. You didn't. There are people who hate Lane Kiffin. They don't. They never hated Mike Leach. So in that, I think this could be a good hire for them. I think the Elko could be a good hire for them. For hire for A and M, but. Time will tell. We'll see. Fill out the staff and we'll see. So why don't everybody let me know what they think down in the comments. So thanks everybody for watching the video. I was getting ready to do this and I decided to pull up X and see what was going on. And oh man, I missed a bunch. Um, more coaching carousel moves are going to be happening. Um, but wow, two big, to the two big ones are off the books, folks. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments. So thanks everybody for watching again. Smash the like button, hit the thumb up, thumbs up, comment on the video. All these help the algorithm. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Lost a couple more subscribers, so I guess I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea. That happens. I'm not doing the sensationalistic stuff, but there are some rumors of some stuff that I'm out there that I'm like, could it be real? We'll see. So... Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see what else is going to happen, because I think there's, I'm also hearing something else. Um, but I hack, I, there's somebody else that's going to get hired today. I'm like, who? Don't know yet. That, like, really narrows it down, doesn't it? Um, oh, yeah. I almost forgot. The big, uh, this one is, is in Rumor Central. I'm bringing this in right now, in Rumor Central. Um, would you have guessed at any point that the University of Indiana and John Gruden would be in the same sentence. But he's an outside shot of taking the Indiana job. John's not taking any job until this lawsuit is done. You understand? He's not taking anything because I think it would... I think they want to have this focused. He's not hurting for cash, as far as I know. But, uh... Crazy rumor, isn't it? I, I decided... I thought about this and forgot about it, and I said, say this after this, because I'm going to see who would actually go to the end of the video and comment on this. If I don't see any comments on this statement, if this is real, I know you didn't watch to the end of the video. You think... Write in the comments... You think Gruden is an actual hire? I don't think so. I think this is somebody being a lot of wishful thinking from probably some Indiana boosters or some fans. 
Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks everybody for watching. Be safe and please be good to each other.